What's up guys, Quezzy here, bringing you guys another tutorial, and hopefully I get this one right, because I've goofed like six times now, and it's super annoying. But, the tutorial I'm going to be doing today is on these cool little badges, which you might have seen in my last video right here, which is my thumbnail pack, which if you want to buy, it's $4 in my store, go check it out. Or you can download the free version right here in my latest video. But yeah, so we're going to be doing this in Adobe Illustrator CS5, you can do this in CS6, probably can do it in CS4 and lower, I don't know, I never use those. But yeah, so let's get right into the tutorial. You want to, oh, let me just close this, and this is stupid, delete this, okay. So you're, you're gonna wanna uh, make a new f uh, uh, file, file, go to file new, that's what I'm trying to say. And uh, create a document 1500 pixels by 1500 pixels, or you can make it bigger or smaller if you want, it depends on what you like, I don't really care. But I use 1500 by 1500. Um, and what you're going to want to do is create a new layer, or you'll probably already have a la layer already made, but um, you want to go to your rulers, and if you don't have your rulers open, uh, you go to control R and that'll make them appear, like here. And you want to just click on the top of the ruler, bring a guide down towards the center, so like boom, and then do one vertically as well, boom, there we go. And we're going to lock that layer, create a new layer, and go to the rectangle tool. And you're going to want to click right in the middle here. And click and hold shift and alt and get a perfect square like that. And just for the heck of it, we're going to add a black stroke of three um, for the time being. There we go. Now we can see it. Um, and you're going to want to go to your pen tool, click and hold, and go to add anchor point tool. And we're going to click right in the center of the top and right in the center of the bottom, like that. And then go to your direct selection tool, click the top point, click, hold shift, and just drag up a little bit like that. And then click the bottom one and go down a little bit, so like that. So you get a weird looking crystal-ish looking thing. And if you're if you want to do some like other shape, uh, you can like drag it out wide, or something. Just do whatever do whatever you want to get the shape you want. Like this, I'm just creating this shape right over to the left. Um, but yeah, so let's go back to the pen tool, click and hold, and go to convert anchor point tool. And we're gonna go to the very top here. Click that point, hold shift, and just drag out. And boom, we get an even arch like that. And then I'm going to click the, uh, whatever this tool is, the, the normal point tool, I guess. I don't know. And uh, just go to your um, the top horizontal guides and go down. And let's go about like here. Um, and then go back to that anchor point tool. And let's see if I can, oh, i got to select it first. So select the badge first. Go back to that. And we're going to click on the left point drag up and we're gonna bring this anchor down you can see this anchor at the bottom how it's gonna go in line with the guide that's why the guides there so we're gonna get that right there boom and then go over to the other side and do the same thing get it in line boom there we go um, and now go back to the selection tool and select that guide and just delete it because we won't need it um, and now you can see this looks a little like I don't know it looks skin or skinny and like pudgy at the bottom, which I kind of don't like. So we're gonna select this. Uh, I'm gonna drag it up and hold Shift and Alt and make it a little bigger. And then select the direct selection tool, get the bottom point, and I'm gonna bring it down using the arrow key. So I'm just holding the bottom arrow key and expanding this down. So like that. There we go. Now that's the that's the sort of shape I want. <clears throat> And I'm just going to hide the guides for now because we won't be needing them at the moment. Um, and make sure you have this uh, selected to make sure you have the badge select selected. And we're going to go to Stroke. And I'm going to use this orange right here. Um, it's like the top right orange, I guess. You can use whatever color you want. Like This is the time to select your color. Um, I just use this orange because orange is my favorite color. And it, looks, it just happens to look good for this badge because I've made it three times already. But yeah, so I'm just select that, and I'm gonna go to stroke size 16. If you're using a different size document, bigger or smaller, you're gonna have to adjust your stroke accordingly. But if you're using 1500 by 1500, you can rock 16 point stroke. Um, and then you wanna make sure you have your appearance tab open. If you don't, go to window appearance, and we're gonna click where it says stroke in the little orange box, 
and we're gonna go to a line stroke and do outside and then we're gonna go down uh, the appearance tab and add new stroke make this one 14 point uh, size and make the color white there we go and then we're gonna wanna go to uh, fill and we're gonna go to the second gray uh, the second darkest gray so not fully black but the one closest to it and then we are gonna go to gradient click gradient so we get a gradient up and go to the white double click on the white and drag it in towards the gray and then we're gonna make this radial so you get something like that so this just happens to be at 82% um, <clears throat> 82% like darkness, I guess, black, whatever. You could just, I'm gonna, okay, I, okay, it's 86 now. Okay, I just did. <clears throat> so, that's, that's the emblem part, like, we're good now. Um, actually, let me just adjust this stroke. I don't like how thick this is. Um, that looks better. Okay, so I put the white stroke as 12, if you guys missed that. Um, and now we're going to lock that layer. So this whole layer is now locked. We can't edit it. It's locked. Okay. Then create a new layer above it. And now we're going to add the little banner part. So um, I'm just going to set the colors back to default. So click the little uh, white and black default fill and stroke. Bottom left. And go to the rectangle tool. And actually now I'm going to select the stroke as off. And the color as our orange again and make sure you have your guide layer now visible so select the eyeball and click right in the middle of the vertical guide and we're gonna hold alt and make it just a little bit longer width wise than our badge so about right there and the thickness will all depend on your font size but for now I'm just gonna use this and then I'm gonna select this and hold shift and drag it down towards the center so about right there works. Okay, and then you want to go to Effect, Warp, Arc. Uh, click Preview so you can preview it and see it on the screen. And uh, I'm going to do Horizontal 10%. If you're using, a, again, a bigger or smaller document, you might have to adjust. Or if you want a different look, you can do whatever you so want. So you can make it bigger or make it go negative. Um, but I'm sticking with positive 10. So boom, there we go. And uh, I'm going to go down a little bit. <clears throat> and <clears throat> I'm going to uh, click this layer. So down at the bottom right, click and drag it to the new layer tab or button. And it'll duplicate it. And we want to select that duplicated layer and bring it below the badge layer. So this layer, we brought it below that. Then we're going to lock the top one. So we lock this top one here. And then select the bottom one and make the color actually just go over here double click the color and make it a little bit darker so like a grayish orange in my case and then we're gonna go down just a little bit um, it's probably like halfway so like there and then hold click alt click the one outside and just drag it out a little bit boom there we go and then we want to go to the uh, add anchor point tool again so just click on the pen tool tab and click add anchor point um, and then again we're gonna go in the middle uh, so like on the middle right and middle left so boom and boom and then direct selection tool we're just gonna click hold shift a little bit drag it in about right there drag it in about right there and I'm going to drag this one up so it's about even. So, okay, like that. Hopefully you guys were able to understand what I just did. Really not difficult. Uh, but yeah, so there we go. And I'm just going to hide my guide layers right now because I don't need them. Um, and then I'm going to lock that layer I just edited, so that bottom banner part. And then I'm going to create a new layer above it. But um, this layer is below the badge still, so still below this one. And we're going to go to the normal pen tool now. And we're going to go ahead, zoom in over here on the left side. And we're going to click right on the corner of the banner. And just click somewhere inside here. So this will give it the perception that it's going back. 
um, and just close it off like this and we're gonna go to color so double click on the color and go to like a blackish orange or a darker orange like that so boom so like it looks like the banners here and it drops back and then it goes out again um, so I'm just gonna click control alt click and then click shift and drag it over actually it won't let me go any further I'm gonna zoom out and then I'm just gonna use the arrow keys actually no it's gonna take a lot um, and then I'm gonna drag it over here I'm gonna right click transform reflect vertical angle 90 I guess that no that doesn't matter uh, make sure it's just vertical and you can hit preview if you want make sure it looks good click OK and then I'm just gonna zoom in again oh to zoom in by the way I'm doing control uh, plus sign so okay maybe one over maybe another one okay there we go so now now we got it on both sides look it's looking good uh, one thing that I kind of notice is there looks like it's not very even so I'm gonna may unlock all the banner layers and I'm gonna uh, make my guide layers visible again and then I'm gonna select all my banner layers by clicking the little circles on the right of their layers and holding shift and I'm just gonna make sure they're centered so they appear to be okay and now I'm just gonna relock them all like that and now I'm gonna make my guide layers invisible again because I don't want them and I'm gonna go to the very top layer and unlock it and then click and drag and duplicate it again by putting it in the new layer button or new layer tab whatever you call that uh, and then we're gonna lock the top one and select the bottom one so you can just click the circle over here again um, and we're gonna go to color and this time we're gonna make it dark black so completely black and then just click and click and hold shift bring it down just a little bit and go to the opacity and we'll go about 24 is that that's pretty good so now it just gives it a little bit of a shadow um, so if we zoom out you can see it's got a little bit of a shadow um, so yeah <clears throat> that's basically the the whole emblem part of this um, and actually I'm gonna add a gradient to the banner part so this right here so I lock the shadow layer and unlock the top layer so this top one I unlocked so now we can edit this so select it go to gradient and now you'll see you get this um, gradient looking thing so the original gradient we used for the backing here um, and you want to go to your swatches tab again if you don't have it go to window swatches and I'm gonna drag that orange that we used on here and to get rid of a color I'm gonna click it and drag down and then I'm gonna click to add another orange and I'm gonna click to drag or click and drag down that gray so now we just have an orange to an orange gradient which doesn't really help us so I'm gonna go to the bottom one and I'm gonna go to the where it says the uh, G and I'm gonna drag that towards the yellow to make it a bit of a yellow um <clears throat> so now it's like a yellowish orange to the orange we're using and I'm just gonna go ahead and make it linear now and yeah so now we have a little bit of a gradient on the banner which looks really nice and now we can feel free to add text so I'm gonna lock that layer now create a new layer go to the text tool and go to solid color and we're gonna go to that dark gray and we're gonna open we're gonna make the guides visible again and we're gonna click right in the center boom I'm gonna do caps lock and say tutorial and I'm gonna center it go to the color make it that dark gray because that didn't save make the color about 145 or the size of the font 145 and the font I'm gonna use is a underscore future futura orto I don't know if that's like Spanish or something but like it's a really nice font I'm gonna use the bold version um, and uh, I can make this a little bigger so I'll drag it out holding shift and all and then I'm gonna go to effect warp arc and 10% preview that um, or you do whatever your banner was and that should fit in there pretty nicely might just make it a little 
bigger. Boom, there we go. And then I'm just gonna go to the text tool again, click in the center up here. I'm gonna put Quezzy. Um, this time I'm gonna make the font white. And I'm gonna choose a different font. So I'm gonna use Evan Eckert's Skyline font, which is free on his website. If you wanna go ahead and check that out. And I'm just gonna expand it. Boom, something like that. And I'm just gonna control alt, click, and hold shift, drag that down. And then write something, I don't know, tutorial uh, for Feb, what is it, 20th, 2015. I don't know, you can put whatever text you want in here, it doesn't really matter. Uh, 200, I guess. Still not big enough, all right. I don't know. You can put whatever you want in here. Usually you probably put like a big text number here, like 20% off or something. Um, and then, actually I'm gonna do that. This looks stupid. So I'm just gonna do 20%. Make that big. Okay, much better. Um, <laughs> uh, and the final last touch is to go to your rectangle tool, click and hold and go to star tool. We're gonna go to the bottom here, get it nice and aligned, click shift and alt, and make a nice little star here. Then we're gonna go to the top and do the same thing, but make a little smaller star, and boom. Okay, now let's hide these guides. Boom, there we go. Um, actually not digging that top star, but there we go. We got a nice looking badge. Um, just like this one over here and again you guys can create any shape you want do anything you want with these You don't have to copy me exactly because I mean what's the point if we all do the same thing like it's it's pointless So just mix it up do your own thing um, But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully you learned something if you did drop a like um, And yeah, I'm thinking about coming out with like a pack of a bunch of these pre-made So if you'd like that uh, let me know in the comments below or tweet at me at Quezzy but please leave a like if this helped you, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.